If I can spell out one major issue of Android, it's a severe fragmentation of its OS amongst its host devices. Android 4.4 KitKat has been released on the Nexus 5 and brings with it the streamlining of every major component built around Google solving the fragmentation issue that has plagued its operating system and aims to deliver its latest iteration to all existing devices with as little as 512 megs of RAM, but that's just scratching the surface. I will start with the visual. The notification tray and system buttons are now translucent, giving a full display coverage of background graphics. When you want to change the wallpaper, you can now preview it before making the final selection. Gone is much of the blue accents, and the aim is to deliver cleaner visuals with seemingly more space on the display. This is the ideal behind immersion mode, where it hides what you don't want to see when reading a book or watching a movie, viewing a map or playing a game. But the buttons are easily returned with a swipe from either the top or bottom bezel. The lock screen delivers a rich media experience with full screen album and movie art. Long press on the play or pause button from the lock screen and select the exact point within a track you want to skip to. There has been a new condensed version of the Google Roboto font created which progresses this cleaner and generally lighter version of Android. The downloads app now features new sorting methods for list and grid viewing. The email app redesign allows nested fields, contact photos and better navigation. You can easily switch between replacement home screens by going to settings and then home. A tile now exists in quick settings for location settings and within the settings you can now switch between high accuracy and battery saving location modes to conserve energy without needing to toggle GPS, Wi-Fi and mobile network settings. There is device-wide support for closed captioning and subtitles by going to Accessibilities and turning on Captions. The phone app automatically prioritises your contacts based on the people you like to call most. The deep integration of Google services as an integral searching companion begins here. You're able to search for nearby places and businesses, your contacts or people in your Google Apps domain, all within the phone app. When making a call to a business with a local listing on Google Maps, it will search the web and find an appropriate image, even if they aren't saved in your contacts. Hangouts is now your one-stop messaging app. It now supports SMS and MMS along with your other conversations, video chats, sharing of location and animated GIFs. The new Google keyboard has also got built-in support for emojis. The biggest, and I should say continued integration of Google search principles, is with Google Now that has now found a home not only from swiping up from the bottom bezel, but to the left of your home pages. But it isn't just a swipe away, it's actually always there. It's acting as its own launcher and application, always active and listening in the home pages. Say, OK Google, and it jumps to life ready to help with tasks. KitKat 4.4 also boasts faster voice search to make this process more usable and integral to your smartphone routine. And all applications will reap the benefits of the new APIs and tools to help boost efficiency and optimization to use less memory. Chrome itself uses 16% less memory than it did in Jelly Bean. Applications that embed web content will utilize Chrome to render web components accurately and more swiftly. Faster multitasking, response of the touchscreen, and the update to the OpenGLES 2.0 Finger Slinger boosts performance by using multi-texturing and it improves color calibration and supports more advanced special effects. For high performance, low power audio playback, Android 4.4 adds platform support for audio tunneling to a digital signal processor or DSP in the device chipset. With tunneling, audio decoding and output effects are offloaded to the DSP, waking the application processor less often and using less battery for up to 60 hours of playback on the Nexus 5. A screen recording utility comes installed to allow you to record what you're doing on screen for tutorials, reviews or app showcases and save to the device as a high quality MP4. Android also now supports IR blasters and introduces platform support for hardware sensor batching, a new optimization that can dramatically reduce power consumed by ongoing sensor activities. Also included is two new composite sensors, Step Detector and Step Counter, that lets your app track steps when the user is walking, running or climbing stairs. These new sensors are implemented in hardware for low power consumption. It's even faster now to transfer data with users on the same Wi-Fi network with the added Wi-Fi Tunnel Direct link setup. And you can print to any printer connected to the Google Cloud Print, HP ePrint printers and other printers that have apps on the Google Play Store. 
The new storage access framework makes it simple for users to browse and open documents, images and other files across all of their preferred document storage providers. A standard easy to use UI makes it easy to browse files and access recent documents in a consistent way across apps and providers. There is now an open architecture for NFC payments for any mobile carrier to let apps manage your payment info in the cloud or on your device. Using host card emulation, it allows the possibility for greater use of Google Wallet. Application sandboxes have been hardened with security enhanced Linux. A device find and wipe has been built into the settings. Bluetooth message access profiles enables the exchange of messages between connected devices nearby, such as with your car. And lastly, the camera supports a new noise model that can tell the difference between standard motion and noise on the sensor itself. Included is great new non-degenerative editing features and HDR Plus mode that automatically snaps a rapid burst of shots and combines to create the best possible image. This was a rapid fire quick overview. There is plenty of detail behind the parts I told you today. So stay tuned for plenty more content from the Nexus 5. I'm Kurt, this is Kabootech. Thanks for watching.